Hello and welcome back to episode 6 of Frozen Assets, where we're playing as Novgorod in the EU4 1.34 Sweden update and going for the Frozen Assets achievement. Uh, we are currently embroiled in a war with uh, Denmark and Norway. We are attempting to... Well, honestly, I'm attempting to take Norway as a subject from Denmark. Um, originally, I was just gunning for this, but now uh, we should be able to... Um, take Norway with this um, thing right here. So uh, hopefully we can get this taken care of pretty quickly. Uh, we'll go with Patriarch Authority every single time. Um, originally they were in a um, war just trying to get their freedom. And I attacked them hoping to at least just get this province. But then uh, whenever... Um, well, well, whenever uh, they broke free, or whenever they um, just conceded their war, um, that's when I decided that I would focus on attempting to just take their lands, um, take their subject. Get those boys taken care of. We can take another one of these. Not like it matters at this point. The old restrictions on fur. I think I would rather have the production efficiency, honestly. I'll just go stand on here and help these guys siege it. Um... It's not like it really, really matters. Uh, we do want to promote mercantilism again. Just make sure we're keeping this nice and high. I'll just do it twice. Bohemia pieced out. Okay, so this just got a lot harder. Could get some manpower, but I don't know how worth it that is. My free company is almost out of their abilities. Let's just rush this garrison down real quick. Um, we will take the army tradition. Take care of this army. Get this siege retaken. That siege is over. We can head on down to here. This is what I want. Are you guys ready to white peace yet? Almost. Who else is in this war? Munster, I think they should be ready. There's white peace Munster. White peace Holland. Um, oh, they're going to jump on to us on that fort. We'll just retreat. They still aren't quite ready to give this up. I can at least make sure that guy's on there. Uh, let's go ahead and just recruit up a couple more admirals. 
Uh, we can give these guys this one. Uh, I need some generals as well. Six shot guy. And along the way, we're going to get our Streltsy. We're going to head down here. We're going to keep this roller. We're going to keep him as long as we can. He's 53. He could pass soon. Hopefully he does not. Uh, Permian Separatists. Hopefully you guys can take care of them. We lost a siege. Okay, tech time, 849. I don't think so. Uh, this is most likely what we really want to dev up next. And I hate that we have devastation up here. It's just in this one province. So we'll get rid of it that way and we'll let that build up. We'll take that back as quickly as possible. We're going to get down here. We're just going to crush this army. Are you any more willing to concede to my demand? Almost there. Innovation wave. Even cheaper techs. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of this free company. They are pretty much useless at this point. The Novgorod company, I'm sure, is not going to be that far behind them. Let's just go ahead and reduce autonomy in provinces that we can. Oh, wait. Still not quite there yet, huh? Because steel has rivaled us. Interesting. I'm going to get these other two trade ships into this fleet. Oh, we are maxed out on those points. <laughs> okay, let's see here. So, you boys... Well, let's summon a diet first. Uh, we'll probably just go with this, and that'll give us a place to spend these ducats, or these, not ducats, these, uh, admin points. So let's do that. We'll encourage development. Just make it as cheap as possible, even though we have so many. Alright, there we go. Uh, we could start building up institution growth yearly absolutism and reform progress growth culture is East Slavic we're not East Slavic really wow all right what about uh, the Kremlin same deal oh see this is East Slavic culture group so we need to convert this huh that's quite expensive oh because I developed it so much <laughs> All right, I guess we'll uh, we'll just do that. I'm sure that would happen naturally anyway, but eh, you know what? We'll cancel that. No, we don't need to do that. Denmark's who I need to peace out for this war goal. And I need to get this done sooner rather than later. They are working on sieging down Finland. We'll just take the Republican tradition hit, I guess. Uh, base tax somewhere else. OK, 
Okay. Give me the fort, give me the fort, give me the fort, give me the fort, give me the fort. Give me the fort, give me the fort, give me the fort, give me the fort. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. And a few ducats. Thank you for your service. Then we come up here, we get that, and then, uh... Okay. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button, that's why. <laughs> okay, so we do that. Then we can take... I guess the trade efficiency guy. Uh, Muscovy is no longer a valid rival. We can go ahead and uh, revoke that embargo. And we'll go ahead and rival Castile back now. Uh, we're going to need to get the Norwegians to being loyal. Oh, our roller died. Well, we can delay this. Till the new year, which will let us take... That tech for innovativeness with all of his bonuses still. Well, his at least tech cost reduction bonus. And then, um, a 131's not good enough. We're probably going to go for a military candidate, because we're about to take a military uh, idea group. And then, uh, we can go ahead and pass that act. We won't use this one. We can seize Crownlands. Rotsburg and Marienburg, I don't really care about. Okay, but what idea group shall we take? Plutocratic would give us a merchant and regiment cost. And it would also give us advisor cost and prestige, so that's pretty decent. That's also decent. This would give us a trifecta, so merchant trade steering... And fort maintenance and fort defense. That's okay. Infantry combat ability and trade efficiency. Boom. Quality ideas. I am sold. And in about a year, we can switch to a military focus. And get that rolling along. We will use our... Our state maintenance. We're actually overboard on state maintenance, so let's build up plenty of those. Bring our boys home. We can reduce our rebel factions. Diplotech on the yearly tick. Uh, we need to improve relations with Norway. And Norway is nice because they can colonize even though they won't take col colonial ideas. Because of their um, national um, ideas. So that's good for us. We'll convert them to the true faith in short order. Lack of demand for draperies. And 
and we can now take Diplotech for innovativeness as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Upgrade 11 ships for 135 ducats. Okay. I'll probably just let this go through whenever it does for the... Uh, for the money. We can stop improving with you temporarily... What if we were to get some ducats from the Ottomans? How much would they give us? Not enough. Never mind. Um, I was wrong. You guys should just keep working on uh, improving their relations. We still have a truce with them. We could go for the reconquest against these guys and call in our um, our friends for this. I'm going to let them do as much of the work as possible. The Ottomans, using the last of their Age of Discovery ability, should be able to burn through them pretty nicely. I'm not going to be taking Miltech for a little while. I'm not planning on it, at least. Because I want to burn through my idea group as quickly as possible. Age of Reformation is here. I stole Norway just in time. With Sweden being our main target, uh, we can uh, steal all those provinces back for Finland, steal this province up here that we need for a mission. We're going to peace out... Bezler, that is annoying. Uh, we'll piece out the uh, poles shortly. I could humiliate them. I'm considering, though, 100%ing them and getting them to break their um, personal union. I don't think that would be a bad idea. Get some cavalry combat ability. Oh, oh, up, 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 up. Sneaking up on me, huh? Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, if I were to cancel not, or, uh, Lithuania from them, it would take the whole war score. Let's see here. Let's do this. Just letting the Ottomans do all the work. Look at how quickly they're burning through the Polish. So 
See, I, you know, I, I don't even really need to do that because I'm going to be able to just obliterate them whenever I want with the Ottoman's help. So we'll go through, we'll do this, we'll take war reps from them, we'll take a big chunk of money, we'll humiliate them. We'll get them to give us their trade power for the time being. Thank you. Thank you very much. You have been fun. Finally starting to get our manpower back up after our long drawn out wars. Our natural scientist died. Let's go with a probably an inflation reduction guy. We're not even fishing for uh, radical reforms anymore, but um, he will help us with uh, getting that inflation down passively. I guess we lose 10 army tradition. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, good. So, a 325, we could go to a 412, so that's losing a little bit, but he might be a little better off. This guy's 43. The embezzler is turning me quite off from him. We are simply going to boost our mercantilism up as much as possible, and then um, let's go through and burn off some of this. Uh, now that we are getting to this point, we can just burn through tax income and grow ourselves with our other stuff, and since we have so much built up admin points, we can just redev all that back into the system, so. We'll go ahead and encourage development here. And uh, yeah, we'll just, all these provinces, We can cap it off as high as it'll go. And then also I did see we can consecrate a metropolitan there. So let's do it. Oh, well connected. You are, you are much, much better. You're a little older, which is disappointing. But overall, you are much, much better. We will just spend the 50 Diplo points. We can peace out Mecklenburg. I will just take all your money, your war reps, your trade power, have you end a rivalry. Go ahead and repay both of those loans. And uh, let's finish getting our courthouses built up. And then build up some more workshops. Sweden, we can go ahead and, uh, oh, they went Protestant manually, okay. We can go ahead and, um, take all your Finnish provinces. I also want this province right here. I want war reps and trade power from you, and then all the money you'll be willing to give me. Core this up. Um, for that other mission, do we need to directly own... Oh, we still need to take this province, which we'll get um, in this war. The Ottomans have quite a bit of war exhaustion, huh? Well, uh, I don't think uh, we're done yet, Ottomans. I think I uh, could use your uh, your power again. I would uh, greatly appreciate it, actually. So, uh, would you be willing if, uh, you know, since we've been such good friends for so long... 
to uh, come up here and uh, stomp on the Muscovites for me as well. If you would be so kind. I mean, I'll, I'll help. I, I've got no problem doing that. It's just that, you know... You guys are just so good at it. You're so big, so strong. But like I said, we've been friends for a long time, so I think it would be... Uh, I'd greatly appreciate if you guys would come up here and help out. <laughs> we'll improve relations with the Norwegians. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and go for something else here. Domestic trade power and merchant trade power would probably be enormous for us. Oh yeah, that was like five ducats. Our prestige is already capped out, so we might as well do that, even though we're not really using uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, let's just get up here and let's clap these cheeks. You guys are devastating my provinces, and I do not like that at all. Just so you know, like I'm, I'm pretty, pretty against it actually. A half price morale guy. I mean, I might as well have got plenty of money to pay him. Not actually going to use him, but I'll take the army professionalism. Austria remains the HRE Emperor. Uh, we'll definitely take some more Patriarch Authority. We're up to, what, 50%? That's not bad. I just want to get rid of that devastation. Cover Army Morale Speed. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to leave it in their hands. It's not much of a concern to myself. No, oh, the Novgorod company has lost all their manpower. How how disappointing. Sorry, we can replace them with Streltsy at this point. Yes, Ottomans, uh, why don't you siege down all them provinces for me, huh? Let's go ahead and regroup back on the capital. Uh, we can afford to lose a little bit of prestige, why not? Now we're up to 45 ducats a month, we can just keep boosting this up. And we're just waiting for the siege to finish up, and the war's over. I would like to thank the uh, Ottoman Empire for their service. They've been uh, very, very nice for us. Okay, so Muscovy.
Alright, so... I think one of the most important things for us right now is to cut you off from any Polish expansion and then take whatever money we can get from you. You guys aren't going to like it, but I like it very much. We can core everything right away. And then uh, we can take Protect White Sea Trade, so more mercantilism and a bunch more claims. We have already conquered Finland, we just need to get these two provinces from these boys now. And that'll give us an extra Diplo Relations slot, so that'll be great. We need to be the strongest trade power in the North Sea. So we can vassalize Scotland through this war. Let's get this ship um, over here with you. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade that entire fleet. This fleet could use an admiral. And then uh, let's do a little scouting mission. Just take a look at what we're, what we're dealing with here. Oh, that's a... Uh, Oh, I, I, I don't know what that province is. Really? Interesting. Traders gain 15 influence, lose minus 5 corruption. And we're gain corruption and take a big boatload of money. I mean, I have plenty of money. But more is always good. Uh, we can use that very easily for all of that uh, so nice uh, Great Britain um, <laughs> went Anglican even though they're also Protestant that's uh seems kind of like a bad play to me but what do I know right Okay, let's get you onto this province right here. Polish separatists down there. Send this army to take care of them. We can continue converting for our Teutonic boys. As soon as the Danes stop protecting these guys, we can just attack them outright. Looks like England would not be willing to give me military access, huh? Not at all. We are rivaled. Alright, all that is taken care of. Ming looks huge, that's a little frightening. I will go ahead and spend the 50 admin points. We can keep boosting up our workshops.
Oh, that's the Scottish capital. Oh, okay. All right, that's uh, that's easy. Uh, I guess we'll keep re-electing our guy. Truce with Denmark and Norway is over. Light ship cost, huh? Okay. While this is all going on, where's my other army? Oh, there they are. I could bring them over here. So the English are allied to what? The Portuguese and these guys. I could try... Neither one of them really want to join. quite a big alliance block. So we're going to vassalize them and take as much money as we can get. Muscovy is the only country that cares. That's going to put us over our diplo relations limit just slightly. Uh, we can go ahead and pay off your debts. We'll placate the Scottish a few times. That's fine. And then we can improve relations with them. Raise up some more Streltsy. Lower... Oh, hold on. Before we lower autonomy... We'll go ahead and make... Nation is governed by a republic with a heavy... Oh, wait. Hold on. No, we don't want to create trading cities. We want to... Make trading... Posts. Let's build a trading post there. Tech-wise... Still in good shape. If we encourage development in perm, do like three clicks, we can then do this. Okay, and Piskov as well. Get that upgraded here as well. Um, we don't have enough ducats. Okay, we'll get those in a minute. Um, I haven't looked at Riga in a minute. Oh my god, this episode's... I am going way too long on these episodes today. Um, I will come back to this in the next one. So if you liked the episode, I'd appreciate a like. If you really liked it, I would appreciate a subscription. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.